Hello friends and welcome back! Today I'm reviewing a very anticipated range from Gymshark, which is the animal, sorry, Adapt Animal Seamless range collection. I only have the leggings, but anyways. I'm also reviewing the Adapt Seamless Marl collection, and with that one I have the whole set. I'm gonna show you what they look like on a real body and not just like a Gymshark athlete that's like 100% biased. I have one video coming up on Gymshark joggers and I have another one coming up on like unhyped leggings from Gymshark, which also includes one pair that's only $30. So that's gonna be exciting. So therefore, do not forget to subscribe so that you won't miss when I post those videos. Also, make sure to like this video to support me and my channel. All right, well, let's get into the review. I am so excited for this one because the Animal Collection is basically an extension of the Camo Seamless, which is everyone's favorite, seems like it. I like it as well, probably not my favorite, but this time around they decided to do some animal prints on it. To be honest, I can't really tell what animal this is. I'm following one of the designers and she said it had something to do with sharks. Now, I really can't see it. I don't know, maybe someone can tell me. It looks like bubbles. It is, however, cool. I got it in the black color. It comes in a very beautiful blue as well. I just felt like that was a little bit too extra for me, so. I did, however, get this in a size medium and large because I am always in between sizes, so I kind of wanted to try out to see whichever one I like the most. The feel of the fabric is a little bit more sleek than the camo seamless and I also felt like it was a little bit more stretchy. Actually has 1% more elastane in it. It makes sense that it's a little bit stretchier. So this is the scrunch and it is again on the outside of the leggings which a lot of people seem to like. Let me show you the inside of the scrunch. This is what the inside looks like. Now don't tell me that this wouldn't be flattering. It's a little bit more discreet. It's not like standing out like this one. It's a shiny fabric. It's like, hi, I'm here. The difference between the scrunch on the new Adapt versus the camo is that this one is a little bit more scrunchy than what this one is, which is more flattering. So that's a good one. Also, it seems like the waistband is pretty much the same. The only difference I saw is that on the animal print, it continues on the inside. I don't know why it's only like an inch instead of like going down here because sometimes people do fold it over like this. The other difference is logo on the side on the camo was stitched even though it's a big logo. I love when it's like very discreet. However, what they did with the new animal print is just the the vertical logo, which I am not a huge fan of. At least it's not like really big. I think they've also stepped up the actual material that they're using for their logos. A little bit more rubbery. With that said, I don't think it's gonna stay on longer when you wash it. I've already noticed with my camo seamless that the logo is already breaking. And I haven't even used these a lot. I haven't washed them a lot. The ankle cuffs are pretty much the same as well. This is probably a little bit more ribbed. And it does not have a front seam, which is awesome. And the back is only the scrunch. Gusset looks like that. It's the diamond gusset, which is the same as the camo. It's a flattering legging. It feels good wearing it. It is pretty compressive, especially if you do like size down. It holds you in, stays up. And I don't know which one I like better. I really felt comfortable in the large because it's not like as compressive. And I think it was still pretty flattering. Right now where I am with my body, I think this would just be a better choice. But if I'm thinking like long-term where I wanna be, I think the medium would be better for me. I did notice a little bit of the muffin top issue, especially with the size medium. I do think that when I am moving and squatting, the waistband will kind of roll a little bit and move around. And, and that's because it is compressive. With the large, which is like half a size up for me, I felt like I had a little bit more room. The downside is that 
it won't suck you in as much. I wanna hear your thoughts. Which one do you think looks the best on me? Next up, we have the Seamless Marl collection. And from this one, I got leggings, the bra, and the long sleeve crop top. I got the leggings medium and large. The medium is the black, uh, which looks dark gray to me. And the large is the lighter, ugh, that's not the one. And the large I got in the light gray color, you know, with light leggings, they tend to be a little bit more sheer. So I figured I might as well. It's your basic seamless legging. And it comes in these like muted, nice colors. It has all of the elements that kind of just makes it look flattering, but nothing extra. It has the ribbed waistband, pretty stretchy that will like suck you in. It does not have a front seam. It doesn't even have a back seam. It's only like a raised seam, but it's not like a real seam. It has a diamond gusset right there. The legging that I would compare this to the most is probably the Ombre Seamless Leggings, if anyone remembers. This is probably the closest you can get to that because it has like basically the same feel. It might be a little bit softer than the Ombre Seamless, but it doesn't come with any contouring or anything like that. So this is what you're getting, just like a marled seamless legging that just looks good. Now, I think, again, I had a little bit of an issue with sizing because the medium is like slightly too tight on me, like accentuates muffin top, you know, all that kind of stuff. While the large, it doesn't look like it's loose on me. But it's not as compressive and secure as I would want it to be. So that is the downside, obviously. Maybe I had a little bit of an issue with the fabric bunching in the front, I can't remember. But with the light color, regardless of which brand you're using, which type of legging, light colors will always like show everything, like all the curves, all the like, you know what I mean. Which with the darker color, I didn't feel the same way. And this one as well has the vertical logo on the side, shark head on the bottom of the leg. This range did come with not only a bra, but also a crop top. Where's the bra? I got the bra right here. I really like the bra. It is a very sturdy and flattering bra. And I've liked all of the seamless bras that they've made in the past. Anything from like Energy Seamless, the Vital Seamless, all of them, I, I, I really like them. I think they're very flattering. They're very well made. This one is no exception. I do have to mention that <laughs> I mean, as you can see, it does have like a double layer, which is a little bit strange. And it's interesting because the the layer that's at the bottom still has a little bit of marl, but it's more solid. And I really like that. I, I almost kind of wish that this was the fabric. Regardless, I think it's still a good look. It's flattering. It has a, a nice back, like crisscrossy back. Two things I want to say. First of all, the color, it's more of like a moss green tone to it if that makes sense. But I really like it because light gray is such a basic color and you probably already have like a million gym clothes that are light gray, but this is like a warmer tone, like a greener tone. For some reason, it is a little bit different from the leggings and the top. So as you can see, it's not quite the same. This feels a little bit more cottony while this one is much more sleek. What's interesting is that the material mix is identical between these two, but they do not feel the same at all. Regardless, I don't think one is better than the other. I just want to point out that they feel different. And the other thing is that the bottom of the, the bra is ribbed and it, it is like a little bit compressive, which is probably good if you want to feel a little bit more secure when you're jumping, if you have a larger chest. For me, because I have a pretty wide rib cage, it is a little bit tight and I got this in a size medium. I don't know if a large would have been better or if it would have been too loose on me, you know, especially with the bands, but I do feel like the medium works and it looks good, but I do have an issue with it writing up a little bit because it is tight. I am definitely keeping the bra because it's it's gorgeous. Also, I wanted to point out that this bra costs $45, which is definitely on the higher end of Gymshark bra. Anyways, now moving over to the crop top. First of all, 
I never wear crop tops because I don't feel comfortable like that. Second, I don't even like long sleeve crop tops because I feel so restricted and hot if I'm working out. Now you're wondering why the hell did you buy it? Well, it looked cute and I really like the little scrunch that they have in the back and I think that might be the only reason. But also I wanted to review it so I got this in a size large because I know that historically their tops have always been very tight on me, but even the large is like too tight on me. Seriously, I don't know what's going on, but it's like very compressive. I just felt like it wasn't comfortable. It kept riding up. Like you can see in the videos, like as soon as I like move, it just goes up. It's not my forte to be honest. And I don't know if this is like a design issue or if you're supposed to wear it in a different way. The back of the neck, there's like too much fabric there. So even if I pull it all the way down, I still have like a gaping in the back. It just looks weird. That would really bother me if I were to wear this. Yeah, no. But other than that, it's a really well-made piece. It's super durable. The seams are stretchy. They even have like a little bit of like ventilation in the armpits or even like along the arms. I don't want to call it mesh, but it's, it's more towards like the mesh side. So it definitely provides a little bit more ventilation. So that's great. And the same thing in the back, there's a different type of fabric up here compared to down here. And maybe that is also what's causing the gaping. I don't know. And the logo is vertical again on the side. No other logo on this piece. Those were my thoughts about the Adapt Seamless range, both the Animal and the Marl. If you haven't already, check out all of my other reviews that I've done on all kinds of brands, including Gymshark, Elf Elite, Women's Best, New Apparel. I've done them all, so go check that out. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave me a little thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.